Hey, I'm Mark, mall man, mall man, mall man. We're really excited to play here. We tell people that we're playing at this club and they think, wow, you really made it, mall man. You really fucking did it this time. But they don't know, man, that the Jack in the Box tastes the same, whether you're playing the Roxy or the back room in the Mexican Tijuana brothel. Well, the weird thing about the rock and roll business is, you know, like here in Hollywood, like Universal is, is prestige there, you know? The prestige in rock and roll is very transient. It disappears. You know, like CBGB's is closed, you know? It's just a history. It's just a memory. We're just making memories. Rock and roll adds up to a whole lot of stories and not much else. I don't know where that's where that was going, though. What were we talking about? So the prestige, when you drive past a rock club, you say, oh, that's another dump. Look at that black dump compared to, like, you know, an empire that builds. But if, if it's built on money. If you were to build some of these rock clubs on stories, they would be magnificent castles. Because the stories that happen in these clubs every night are rich, you know? We're like Han Solo, just driving around, just barely making it. But we're, we got a lot of stories and we know everybody in the galaxy. When I started out when I was young, I, don't, I wouldn't even remember the performances when I was a kid. It was very weird. I can't really say I would want to do this job, playing rock music, writing music I do enjoy. I tried, I went to art school, like I tried to skirt this job. I really did. And it just kept going. And so now I'm kind of going with it, you know? But it's just in my nature. But when I started, I was really crazy on stage. In high school, I didn't know how to contain it with my punk bands and stuff. And, and I would be bloody after, after the shows, I bro I've broken fingers and toes and dislocated my shoulder and just not knowing how to contain the energy. Some people have stage fright and I had too much. Now I think I've got under control, but now I remember the shows, so that's a little better. It was weird. I have never played the keyboard with my toes, though if we were ever to date, I would probably wake up and play the keyboard naked in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. It's a special treat. It's a very special treat that my pets and girlfriend get to enjoy before one of them dies. Could be the pet. We're gonna play a song called Death Wish, which is about divorce. We're gonna play a song called 16 Animals, which is about 16 predators that kill. We're going to play a song called Substances, which is about Prozac, but I changed it to fit the vernacular of rock. So now it's about cocaine and all that rock stuff. But I really wrote it about Prozac. Now I'm looking for substance, but all I found is substances. Now I'm looking for 